Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a doodle owner's must-haves, but grooming edition. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so the inspiration for this video came from you guys liking my doodle grooming at home video and I really wanted to create a follow-up video for that so I can show you which tools and what tools you need to have a successful grooming atmosphere at home for your dog, for your doodle or dog in general. This is going to be doodle based because I am a doodle breeder and I have doodles of my own but this can also apply to different breeds of dogs as well. So the first thing that I have on my must-have list is Pupwell. I don't know if you can see that. Pupwell. So this is a grooming kit that my friend Julia started. And they have three different types of kits. So the three different ones is there's the basic, there's the ultimate, there's a nail trimming duo, and then there's the shears. So the shears, we'll start with the shears. And mine, my case looks a little bit different because I got these early on when she was, when she first launched this business. And so now the sheer case is coming in a beautiful color like this, but mine's black. So this comes with three shears and you have your, these are thinning shears. You have curved shears. And you have straight shears. So these three are the most commonly used shears that you can use. And I use the curved ones for around the eyes. I use these thinning shears to make sure that the hair lays flat around the face. And I use the straight shears for anything I don't use these for. So they come in this beautiful case. And that is the shear set. So the next set is the nail duo set. It comes with a nail grinder and it comes with nail clippers. So I'm gonna start off with these nail clippers and they have a beautiful little paw that protects it so that you don't go too far on your dog's nails and your nail, the dog's nail go in and you clip it and it just clips off with barely any so you can clip off a little bit at a time. They also lock in place so there's a little put a thing right there and then you push it in like that and lock it. So these say the good pup because Pupwell went through a big branding and beautiful branding and it used to be the good pup but now it's Pupwell. So that's why these say good pup but now all of them will say Pupwell. The next thing that comes in the nail duo is a nail grinder. So as you can see there's little grinders on there and you just put your pup's nail like this and it just grinds them so that they're not sharp. Sometimes if you just cut their nails, the ends of them can still be sharp. So I use a grinder just to go around the nail after I trim them. And this one's super quiet. Let's see if you can hear it. So as you can see, it's super quiet and um, Dremel makes a brand of nail grinders like this and, or makes, Dremel, the brand, makes nail grinders, and theirs are very loud. So I really like this one because it is quiet, it's easy to hold, and it's not huge, and it's also rechargeable. So the nail duo is these two. And then the basic kit, it comes with... We'll start out with this comb. So this is a metal comb, and as you can see, it has wider, like the little, I don't know what you wanna call these, the little, these little things, um, has wider ones, like right here, and then it has thinner ones. So my ultimate must have for any doodle owner are these two things, a good brush and a good comb. I also tell all my puppy families that they need both of these because the brush like this can get that top layer 
and then this comb can get all the way down to the skin. And you wanna make sure that you get the mats all the way down to the skin because if they develop, they develop small by the skin and as they grow out, they get bigger. So by getting those close to the skin, you work those out before they even have a chance to grow into a big mat. And as you can see, like these bristles are a little bit curved, so it makes it a lot easier to get that and kind of grab the hair and really brush through the hair. Also, don't worry, it's not pokey. I'm sitting here rubbing it on my hand and it doesn't hurt. Like, this isn't gonna hurt your dog. So, these two are my top two and they come in the basic kit. The next thing that the basic comes with is this, um, this little comb. Uh, I use it for eye goobers so you can like get the eye goobers out. Maverick gets eye goobers, Ruby not quite so much, but Maverick gets some and then you just like scoop them out and it makes it super easy. And then I also use this for like the tips of their ears. So if I'm getting their eye goobers out and I see like a little mat on the bottom of their ears, I just take this and just brush it out and get that mat right out. Okay, the next thing is the dematting comb. And this comb is a little bit different than this one. You can kind of see they're different. Like, you know, it's very obvious that they're different. But what makes this different from the other ones is if you, let me show you. It has little ridges on the top. So these are actually sharp little ridges. And what you, or how you use this is you hold it like this and it's got a little thumb rest and you can get under that mat really easy and actually cut that mat. So by cutting that hair, it makes it easier to get that mat out without shaving it. And so those little ridges actually will cut the hair and get that mat out because you can go with this and then use your comb and your brush to kind of work the rest of it out. Because if you had a mat and you we're trying to save the hair and you just use these. These can really hurt the dog because you're just sitting and pulling on that skin over and over and over again. And it can be bad news for your dog. They can get hematomas on their ears and they can just, and it plus it hurts them. So use this first if you've got a big mat that you can't brush out and try and break through that. And if this doesn't work, then you're probably gonna have to shave it. But there's three different ways that you can try and get it out. And all of them come in this ultimate kit, or the basic kit. So all of those come in the basic kit. And then the other thing is this lick -a mat So I put peanut butter on these. You can put jam, you can put um, pureed foods. You can do really anything that is dog, like that your dogs can eat. You can put pumpkin on here. And it sticks to the wall. So it will stick to, like as you can see, little stickies. It will stick to your tub, it will stick to your shower, it will stick to your wall, it will stick to your floor, your grooming table, it will stick. And your dog's focus will be on this and not on you grooming. So it makes it easier on you while your dog is focused on this and you can just sit there and groom them. Okay, so that is everything that is in the basic kit and there's some extras that are included in the ultimate. So the ultimate kit includes everything that we've gone over so it includes the nail duo it includes the shears and it includes a basic kit but it also includes a couple of other things um and one of them is this suction leash so this like the lick mat can suction anywhere i don't know if you can see that and you just push it like this and it can suction to your wall shower grooming table all of the above and then it has this attachment, and this attachment is kind of like a leash and a collar because some dogs get nervous um, with your like grooming tools or just being on a grooming table. So it's nice to be able to control them with this in a controlled environment to make grooming easier for you and less stressful for your dog. Because if they're wiggling around and moving around, it's more stressful for you and your dog. Okay, is there anything else I'm missing? Oh, forceps. So they, uh, like hemostats is kind of what they look like. And they are used to clean your ear hair out of your dog's ears. Um, doodles tend to get more ear hair. Ruby's is not bad. Maverick's is not bad. Marley, she's a poodle and her ear hair is probably the worst out of all of them. Um, 
if you're not comfortable doing that, your groomer can always do that for you or vets can do that as well. But it's super nice to be able to do that from home because you can make sure those ears stay clean and they don't get ear infections because unfortunately, doodles are prone to ear infections just because that they have that ear hair. Because if, I mean, if you look in certain dog breeds, they have less ear hair. So doodles are definitely more prone to ear infections. And then all of that comes in a beautiful case like this. And it says pebble on the bottom. And you open it up and you've got a pocket right here with a beautiful zipper. Let's see if I can get in there. Right there, beautiful pocket. And then it has these little dividers. So you can put, so like my shear case will fit perfect right there. And you can put all of your grooming tools in here and keep them nice and safe and also keep them clean and in one spot. So if you ever go to groom your dog, you know that everything's going to be in here. So that kit, this also comes in the um, ultimate kit. So that is everything for Pupwell. Um, that is number one on my um, list besides, you know, just the brush and the comb just because it comes with everything you need and it also includes education. So you may get all these tools and you might think, oh, well, how am I supposed to use them? What am I supposed to do? Julia has put together beautiful videos and courses to show you how to groom your dog at home and using these tools. So she takes you through each of the shears and how to use them. She takes you through the brush, how to use it, how to use a nail grinder, how to clip your dog's nails. She goes through all those and puts and put those into courses so that she can teach you guys how to groom your dog at home. So there's different courses that each pack comes with. I know the ultimate kit comes with every single course that she's filmed and offered. I know that the basic doesn't include all of them. And so ultimately the ultimate is the best bang for your buck. But I mean, everyone's price ranges is different. With using this Pupo kit though, I have groomed my dogs less. I groom my own dogs, and so I've done a lot of grooming at home, but it saved me time, and it's also saved me um, like a couple more weeks in between their grooming, like when I normally have to groom them, just because I can keep up on it with little things like this, like I do every single day. Um, and that's helped me a lot. So I know that a lot of my friends that have purchased this, and it saved them time in between grooming, so it's also saved them money. So even though it is an investment, you are saving money in the long run. So this comes with the Pupwell stuff as well. Last thing before I forget. So this is an apron. And when you're grooming your dog, your um, the hair gets everywhere. And so this is a really great texture, kind of like a, it's a slick texture so that the hair doesn't stick to this and it won't stick to your clothes. And it also has two pockets on the front, so you can put your tools in here while you're grooming. So that's the next thing is an apron. And then following ear care and stuff, I recommend getting a ear cleaner. So this one that I have is just a Life's Abundance one. Um, we normally have some from I think I get it from Amazon that was recommended by my vet. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put a picture of it right here. And so I just always keep something on hand. Um, and I recommend this one too. This one's great. So I can link this down below as well, but just something on hand so that you can keep your dog's ears cleaned. It's not something that you do every single day, but let's say you go out and play in the mud with your dog or you go out in the snow or you go out with the sand and the dirt you're gonna to need to make sure that their ear's clean so they don't get an ear infection. So I recommend having an ear cleaner on hand 24 seven. My last thing that I recommend every doodle owner to have is a high velocity dryer. So let me show you. I have mine right here. So mine that I have is a flying pig and you can get this on Amazon. Sometimes they have really good Black Friday deals. And this is just, it's, it's the kind of dryer that groomers use and it, it dries your dog so much faster than your hair dryer or air drying. And it also helps to 
go longer between baths. It also helps go longer between groomings and it helps you um, groom your dog better because if you let a doodle air dry, they're, they have naturally curly hair. Um, those curls will just stay curled up and tight and this blow dryer actually helps them straighten out and so they're gonna be easier to brush, you can see mats and I also, when I, I love blow drying my dogs because you can see the skin and you can see all the different mats, you can see everything in your dogs. So you have this roadmap of your dog when you're blow drying your dog. You, I mean, you get one when you're bathing, but you can see the skin and see if the skin's healthy, if they need, you know, different things regarding their skin to make sure that their skin stays healthy. But I just like blow drying my dogs just because it makes it so much easier so they're not running through the house and getting water all over the house or they're not, Try and drip on my couch when they're soaking wet. So I recommend a dryer because it makes your life 10 times easier. And I know that these are investment as well, but I promise this is worth its weight in gold because it just makes your life way easier when it comes to bathing your dogs. And they also have different nozzles. So mine comes with two different nozzles that you can slip out. And this is one that I use. It's like a, just like that. And they also have a circle one that you can use. And it comes with all that when you purchase it. And you just plug it in. Mine also has heat settings. So when it's cold outside, you can look right here. Um, when it's cold outside, you can turn the heat on. So the dogs aren't cold when they're blow drying. Um, you can just turn the heat on and it will have heated air that's coming out of the blow dryer. This one also has different settings. You can start out with the soft, soft air coming off of it, coming out of the blow dryer, and you can work your way up. So my puppies, I always have it on the lowest setting just so that they're used to it, and then when they're comfortable with the lowest setting, I dial it up. My big dogs, I can turn it on the highest setting and they're fine. Um, but I recommend getting a blow dryer that has that because you don't want to blow dry a puppy that with the highest setting because they're immediately going to be terrified of the blow dryer immediately um and then i recommend the heat because then your dog's not shaking and cold while you're blow drying them um and so it helps them stay warm so they're not shivering but that is why i recommend a dryer and that i believe is the final thing so those are all my doodle owner must-haves for the grooming edition if you guys thought this video was helpful make sure to like and subscribe I will link everything down in the description box below. So if there's anything that caught your eye, make sure to click on those links and it'll take you right to them. Some of them are affiliate links, just a little disclaimer. If you want to see more grooming videos, please let me know and we'll see you guys next time.